already it's bubs. So you guys will know already, October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So if you have been out shopping, I'm sure you've started to see quite a lot of pink items suddenly. So my dear friend Jessica Lee422 decided to bring some of us beauty gurus together so we can raise awareness for breast cancer and of course money for breast cancer research to achieve prevention and hopefully a cure for breast cancer one day. Okay, so to make this video a bit fun, we're going to be showing you guys our top 5 pink products. And by pink, it could be beauty related, it could be non-beauty related, it could be anything that's associated with the word pink, okay? So even though we could have fun with the whole pink idea, I have to say I actually don't own a lot of pink products myself. So my products I'll be showing you guys will be beauty related and stay tuned to the end because we are doing a giveaway as well. Alright, so my very first top pink item is my Legier Double Effect Cooling UV Sunspray and this has SPF 50 in it. So on camera it looks kind of purple but um, this is pink, right? Yeah, it is pink. Unless I'm colorblind, but it's pink. Yeah. Who cares? It's it's for breast cancer. Kind of just had a moment there. But uh, I use this every single day. One of the very best beauty advice you can ever get is to wear sunscreen every day, even when it's not sunny. So as you can see, it's in a form of a spray, and I just go, and it's very lightweight. It's non-greasy. Uh, it's waterproof as well. So unlike with an ordinary sunscreen, where I'm like, no. You know, this one is easy, it's effortless. Ooh, it's breezy as well, and it's quite moisturizing. Um, can you feel my legs? This legs, this legs wrong. So as you can tell from the mind to have fun I have with this, this is my favorite sunscreen. Just because it's so lightweight and so easy to use. So you can use this for your body and also your face. For your body, you just hold about 30 centimeters away and spray. Uh, for your face, you don't spray directly, you just spray into your hands and then pat onto the skin. So my second top pink item is something that um, I've mentioned and showed you guys before. So this is the Sasatini Facial Cleansing Brush. I'm not sure why it's called a brush because it's not a brush but, but uh, yeah, I use this every single day for gentle exfoliation. And this is great because no matter how hard I scrub, it doesn't hurt the skin, it's never too harsh. So I do use this with my cleanser and it really does help to cleanse out the pores and remove the little bumps and dead skin. And uh, when I'm using this, I do find that the blackheads on my nose um, reduce dramatically. So as you can see, there's like a little suction part here, so you can just attach this to your mirror. And then in here, you just slip your fingers through like this and you would exfoliate your skin. I know the Clarisonic is legendary, but after a month or two using it, it just started to lose effect for me and it started to aggravate my skin. So it's probably because my skin is so sensitive, but this just works better for me. And this is so much cheaper as well. And it's easy to clean, it's easy to travel around with, you don't need to charge it. It's just awesome, awesome, awesome. And like, I don't know what I would do without this. Okay, so now it's time for my third top pink item. And I think it's really hard not to mention the Beauty Blender. So for me, the Beauty Blender is an absolute makeup essential. It just really helps to sheer out the makeup to give a very flawless and natural finish. This is what it looks like when it's damp. So it kind of swells up a bit. And the great thing is because you use it damp, I can clean this every single time before I apply my makeup. And this makes it very, very hygienic. And because it's so small, it's easy to travel around with. It's great for blending out your concealer. It's great for um, blending your foundation. It's even great for applying your powder as well. Fourth top pink item is my Dior Addict 2 perfume. So as you can tell, it's almost done. And this is a pretty big perfume as well. So it lasted me for like forever. But now it's time for me to buy a new one. So if you're interested in knowing what I smell like, well, I'm not good at explaining scents, okay? Some people are like, you know, first there's a hint of must, and then there's a little bit of sandalwood, and then the seven notes. I'm like, what? I have no idea what it means. All I know to explain stuff is by saying it smells nice. So I did have to look online to see how other people describe this fragrance, but uh, yeah, pineapple and grapefruit was mentioned a lot. And at first I was like, what? But then when I smelled it, I was like, Oh yeah, it does smell a little bit like it, even though, you know, you wouldn't think they would smell that great, but it really does. This is the most girly perfume ever, and it's so sweet, and it's fresh. Oh. And one time, when I was on a bus, 
it's pretty obvious that some kid crapped himself in the bus. Everybody was dying on the bus. So luckily I had my perfume because like for the whole journey, I just had to sniff and breathe into my wrist. The fifth and final top pink item is my Victoria's Secret Beauty Rush uh, Body Double Mist. And this is in Plum Drop. Uh, really sucks because some of you guys told me that Plum Drop is actually discontinued now. So you want to get it, you have to get it online on Amazon or something. But I love this, as you can see, I've used it quite a bit. Lately, the skin on my legs just started to get really dry. And uh, yeah, it just started to feel really rough and scaly. So I went back to using this and now I, my legs went back to smooth and gluey. Yeah, I think I like anything that's sprayed because it requires less effort. So, and uh, it does absorb pretty quick and leaves the skin feeling very healthy and glowy. And uh, it smells wonderful as well. I'm not sure what plum drop is supposed to be, but uh, as you can tell, I'm not good at describing scents, but it does smell wonderful. Alright, so now it's time to talk about the giveaway. There's going to be five winners, one comment winner, two video response winners, and two donation winners. So I'm just going to briefly explain some of the rules, so definitely check out the information bar if you're interested in entering. This is an international giveaway. If you're under 18 years old, then you must have parental permission to enter. So for the comment winner, let us know in the comment section below what is your top pink product and what can you do to spread breast cancer awareness. For your prize, you'll get an OPI Pink of Hearts set and a Sephora Favorites Give Me Some Lips set. To enter through video response, tell us what is your top 5 pink products. As prize, you'll get an OPI Pink of Hearts set, Laura Mercier Lip Glaze in Rose Hope and a Stella and Dot Hope bracelet. To enter through donation, you can make as big or as small as a donation as you like and you would just donate to this web address as shown. I'll also provide in the information box. So once you've donated, screenshot your confirmation letter and email to Jessica at this email address as shown. Remember, you can donate to your own breast cancer awareness cause. As prize, you'll get a Bobbi Brown Pink Peony set, Beanstalk Black Vanilla Raspberry Soap, OBI Pink of Heart set, Shiseido Par I Love Lip Liqueur, Prismera Design Hope Necklace, and a Stella and Dot Park Scarf. So we chose Breast Cancer Research Fund because they spend a high percent of their revenue towards programs and research. Contest starts today, ends in two weeks. So please show your support for all the beautiful and strong ladies across the world. Thank you so much for watching guys. Pink, pink everyone. Bye!